Hey beautiful people, how are you and how how have you been? How was your Easter celebration or how is it? How is your Easter celebration? I hope everything is going on well and the kids are beyond the celebration understand the reason behind the season, okay? You can catch up on our um, daily devotional that we have started to create so that it will be easier to reach your children spiritually. So this month of April, we have an exciting topic that we'll be treating and um, it's something that will definitely come in handy for them when they start to grow and uh, start to seek for relevance. Remember that we believe that whole kids make whole adults and we are raising our children for complete to be complete. We're raising them to be correct and we're raising them to be commissioned to doing that which God has created them to do. So today or this month we'll be looking at the topic or the theme raising an excellent minded child raising an excellent minded child how do you raise an excellent minded child what is excellence what is excellent mindedness and how do you raise an excellent minded child we're also going to look at what excellence mean or what are the components of excellence and then we'll be looking at opportunities to teach excellent mindedness and then of course we'll wrap up this whole series by praying and uh, by prayers and confessions over their lives for the spirit of excellence so stay with us and i am very sure that this is going to be a transformational series so don't go anywhere ensure that you catch up with this series every week and be on the group on our whatsapp group to discuss so that we can also learn from one another okay all right so let's dive into the very first episode which is even giving context to what we are learning so what is excellence and why should we be excellent minded why should we raise our children to be excellent minded what is excellence well the according to the dictionary definition the google dictionary definition excellence is the quality of being outstanding or extremely good so excellence comes in when something it doesn't just stop at being good but it is so good it is so so good that it is excellent an example is one of the tweets that made its round this Easter period I saw that I saw that tweet and I thought it was excellent because the person created tweets about Easter you know as if it was Jesus and his disciples actually writing those tweets as if it was Jesus and then the Jewish people it was really excellent because he paid attention to detail there was the timestamp AD 33 did you see it well I thought it was really excellent so it was really good and it attracted a number of people who like me thought it was excellent okay so excellent is that quality that differentiates the ordinary or the just good or the average from the one that is really top notch that's excellent so excellent mindedness is the attribute that keeps the child or anyone focused on improvement and learning to be better you see the difference now we know what excellence is we're teaching our children to be excellent minded so excellent mindedness means that quality that dynamic quality of being open and focused to learning something new something different that will improve how their outlook towards life how they deliver on their tasks, how they do the things that they have been asked to do and do it well. You know, I grew up hearing my mom say over and over again that what should be done or what ought to be done at all has to be done or ought to be done, uh, what, what ought to be done has to be done well or what, what should be done should actually be done well, something like that, you know. 
and of course she used that as a way to tell us for example in raising girls that if you have to cook it has to be excellent what what is worth doing is worth doing well exactly that's the word that's that's the sentence and you know she always keeps saying that she always kept telling us what what must be done or what is worth doing is worth doing well and so it applied to when you sweep, she would uh, and come in and use her bare feet. And trust me, my mom had very sensitive feet to check if it is properly done and all that. So that is how she thought us her own um, dimension of excellence. So we're going to be looking at excellence, of course, and how it applies to us. All right, so why do you want to inculcate the rare value of excellent mindedness? Remember that we have said that, you know, being excellent is one thing and being excellent minded is another. Excellent mindedness is a value that you must teach your child. Why? Four reasons. Number one, because our God is an excellent God. When God created the world, did you observe that he did it? He did it step by step. He did it, you know, one after the other, one after the other, and everything just turned out very excellent. He didn't just create man, you know, when the whole world was, um, uh, darkness was everywhere, and then the next, uh, he just thought, okay, let me create man. You know, he put some thought to it. He, he, it was excellent. It was an excellent job as far as I'm concerned. Okay? So everything was done in order everything with those orderliness in what he created it was excellent and he kept on saying everything was very good everything was very good so our god is an excellent god and then when you read about the description the way he wanted the temple the tabernacle to be built you would see excellence and fine quality our god is not lopsided our god doesn't just do things anyhow he pays attention to details down to the frills. <laughs> Did you see that in the Bible, in your Bible? The frills of what the priests wore. Everything was detailed. The color, the shape, the number, everything. So our God is an excellent minded God. This is one this is one of the reasons why we must teach our children to be excellent minded. Number two. Excellence is what sets you apart from everyone else. Excellence is the is the differentiating factor between one person, one person's work and the other person's work. Now, the reason why we are saying excellent mindedness is it's not it's not just being excellent one time, but making it habitual. How do you make it habitual? Because excellence is dynamic. We're going to look at that in the second episode when we when we, when we look at the components of excellence and and how this relates to teaching a child to be excellent minded, to be focused on excellence, to be focused on creating around excellence and doing whatever they have to do excellently. All right. So it's what sets one work apart from the. You know aside from the other is what makes the difference the difference is always clear like uh, omo advert and uh, the diff is clear the thing is not say advert so excellence sets your part naturally and then number three excellent excellence mm, excellent mindedness opens you up to learning and a new knowledge you know so that you can be better so when you make it, if when we make it a value, when you inculcate the value of being excellent minded, you know, of your child learning how to be excellent, excellent minded, they would want to go in search for new knowledge. How can I do this better? They would ask questions like, How can I do this better? How will I ensure that I ace it? And let me say at this point that being excellent is not the same thing as being a perfectionist. No. Being excellent means doing it the very best way you can do it. Being a perfectionist means doing it in a particular way. These are two different things. So excellent mindedness means the very best, okay? Fixing your mind on doing it in the very best way that it can be done. And it will lead you or push you to learning. It will push you to asking questions, 
the right questions, intelligent questions. When you see a child who is excellent minded, it will show in the kind of questions that they ask, in the kind of things they want to know, the kind of materials they want to read. Because they are excellent minded, they want to know how things work. Because they know that it's in understanding the way something works that you can actually make it better. If you don't know how something works, how can you make it better? And then finally, excellence open doors for you. And so if excellence open doors for you, it's very important to be excellent minded. You see? So the reason why I'm stating this very categorically or clearly is because I know that we are dealing with our children. Okay. My child, my son, I remember having a conversation with him about excellence. And um, I told him that if you are excellent minded, you will start preparing for your exam the minute you resume. Because you know that everything counts. You know that your exam your your assignments, your classwork, your tests count. It's not just the exam. So being excellent minded teaches your child the steps to prepare. You know, people can score to one or first class without necessarily being excellent minded because in this day and age, nothing is impossible. You can actually cook up grades and scores and all that. But you see, the difference will be clear when it is now time to defend your work. The Bible says that your work will be tried. Okay, so when it's time to defend your work, the difference is clear. So uh, I do hope this episode has, you know, given you. An understanding of what excellent mindedness is and an expectation that's created a hunger an expectation in your heart to teach this value to your child so stay with me come back again for the second episode follow-up episode and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification so that when the next video drops you will be the first to know thank you so much I'm Mario Kerr again and this is Mama Boy's Diary. Thank you and remain blessed.